So from hearing your story, AJ, I'm hearing that you saw the big picture from a very young age. You decided to graduate early. You knew what you needed to do. Where did that come from? I think there was a natural time limit built into my life. At least I felt there was. Um, when I was very young, my, my biological father passed away from a brain tumor. And I was made to be aware of this as early as I can consciously remember. So <clears throat> I guess having an understanding that one day you're going to go, you know, as a child helps you make your decisions more carefully, I guess. And uh, he died when he was 30. So I had a goal to where I would make a feature film that was like sold in stores and, you know, seen by the world to say, you know, you might say, uh, before I was 30. And I, it felt really good to, to get Compound out because no matter what, I did that, you know? And uh, yeah, so I guess having a little bit of knowledge of mortality was, whether I knew it or not, a motivating factor and having a little bit different picture of how I looked at the world from an early age. But thankfully I had a you know, fantastic father to figure to raise me. Um, Right, at, I mean, it was um, there was not very much time period between when my biological father passed away and my mom remarried um, to a great man that is my father. So I was I was one of the lucky ones. I probably would have turned out a lot different if my mom was a single mom for a long time. That's for sure, because I would have run her into the ground. She describes raising me as a uh, uh, water skiing with a speedboat, and and having like holding on by like one hand <laughs> so do you think that helps you book work because you're you seem to keep constantly busy yeah I like to stay busy I think it, uh, you know it's kind of like people say when you get older if you don't move your body and you don't exercise you lose it I feel it's the same way if you stay idle in, in the film business you kind of it's hard to kick it back in the gear after a while because it's like you're out of shape almost. I think part of that too is just the constantly changing technology. Just being a cinematographer, I have to stay on top of that stuff. As well as, um, you know, as your network increases, you have a larger group of people that you know and are trying to keep in touch with. You have to, it's a tough maintenance. You have to constantly check in with people, see how they're doing. Um, and they're all oftentimes wanting you to be involved in projects. And I, I have a uh, problem where I, I try to make everybody happy uh, and say yes to as many things as I possibly can. I've been trying to do a little bit less of that these days, but uh, it's worked out pretty darn well for me up until this point because I've been able to do so much in a short period of time. Um, you know, I might make a couple people angry from time to time because things aren't done right off the bat when they're, maybe they're supposed to be, but it gets done. It gets done really well. So. I guess the my regret would only my only regret would be that I made somebody upset for a short period of time, but ultimately it's been beneficial, and I think all the other projects even benefited from it because I've been able to increase my skill set from it as well. Yeah, that's a really hard thing to it's learn. Tough. To it's say a lot no of pressure things. from yeah. a lot of people mm -hmm. as a result of that. But what are your secrets for someone? Let's suppose someone else was asking. You know, I have the same problem. I don't want to tell people no. But at the same time, I realize that I'm actually hurting myself by not. I think it's it's something you have to know within yourself. Are you capable of doing the, the thing that you're saying yes to? And I think I, you know, as a younger person in my early 20s, I could run three, four days without sleeping. So I made it, took advantage of that fact and pretty much did that on a regular basis. I would go hard for like a week and then I'd crash for like an entire day, 24 hours sleep and then same thing next week same thing the following week and uh, you know it catches up to you after a while I can't do that anymore today so I have to be a, a little bit conscious of that um, I get sick if I don't sleep today that's bad I think I write, wrote too many ch you know sleep checks and I a little in debt as a result of that but uh, if I have to I can go hard still but I, I only do that on projects that are giving me enough back in order to be able to commit that kind of time to it also I've, I've after having a movie out now I have you know that, that video that you mentioned to me I've watched that video and I was like man I did that now what and so I've 
been in a place where I'm kind of thinking like maybe I want to do other things too and I'm not sure exactly what that is yet but whether it's commercials or uh, you know a different aspect of the film industry another challenge you might say Um, I don't know what that is yet Um, but I also know that I'm interested and excited about things like engineering and I have been since I was a kid as well so maybe something along maybe it's a side project that I'm doing maybe it's something that I can inject that part of my brain into to get another another satisfaction out of life besides just making movies because now I've made a movie it's pretty cool but you want like there's journey never ends you know you, you arrive at a goal and then what's next that's always what I'm thinking I think like the last time we posted something that we've talked together, one of my things that I talked about was moving on to your next project. And that's kind of what I'm always still thinking about. So I think this year I have six or seven movies coming out that I shot. And they all feel old to me because they were done a year or two ago. And uh, I'm still thinking about what's next, you know. It's kind of a cool cycle that most professions don't get to experience where you're constantly doing something new, but things that you've done in the past are coming back to remind you like what you've done. Or they're being released, they're being celebrated, they're being talked about. And it's nice, you know, it's exciting. It's a little tough too because some of those things that you've done a year or two years ago don't feel like your best work right now. Like when you're doing your best work and two years ago work comes out, you're like, oh man, I hope that doesn't, most people aren't gonna see that. They're gonna look at it as for what it is and hopefully feel good about it. but. You know, as an artist, you get a little worried about it sometimes. Like uh, a couple of movies that I've shot are coming out that I shot like two years ago, and they're good. But I look at the work, and I'm like, man, I wish I could. I wish I would have done this better or that better. And it's not so much that I think it's a bad job that I did. I just feel like I know so much more now. I want to add that to it. So interesting stuff. Always, always fun. Always new. <laughs>